Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard, and today we have a lovely <laughs> video. Um, from these are all these photos are from Michael Flies. So I'll leave his YouTube channel above. His awesome flyovers of Southern California and his latest video is um, helicopter tours of SoCal theme parks. <laughs> I've seen the one besides uh, uh, Disneyland because I would know Fly Zone. And so, he spent a considerable, considerable amount of time with the Universal Studios, so grab some screenshots from you know, his video here. And I saw some major progress on some construction updates I'm going to go over with you in this video. As we can see, right now this is this uh, the upper lot of Universal. We see the Secret Life of Pets building and the Walking Dead, the walls right down in the... Around like the middle of this picture, the middle, lower, middle slash lower left of this picture. By the way, sorry, it's kind of blurry. Um, I, I can't really zoom in here, but uh, try to get the best views and angles as possible when I watch the video. Awesome video. I link the full video above on this uh to the top right in the suggested. I um, mean, should definitely watch the whole video for Mission <laughs> Not Very Farm. Uh. And Soak City and Six Flags Magic Mountain, and yeah, and obviously more Universal. That's super awesome. But um, yes, yeah, so you can see the of pets looks. Uh, the top of the building look, blends very well. It's ready to open. The Walking Dead. It's hard to see, but the marquee has been painted over and painted white instead of that the the lapidated look. The marquee has been painted. Um, to match the other buildings with the construction wall still in the front right there. They are continuing work. Universal is continuing work um, on all of its products across all of its parks. Um, they do the with, with strict social distancing measures, but they do have the uh, funds to do that because they are backed by, again, internet company Comcast. Um, so they are getting funding for that, which is great. And we'll see some major progress in the lower land projects and the rest and later on in this video. But I just want to get a nice overview at University of Hollywood. And I just also want to say I really miss this place. I cannot wait to go back. Um, hopefully in June. At the very top left of the picture, you can see some grading work happening for that uh, the production building that I, I showed you in my last construction video. And we'll see a really good uh, pick of that again when we get to the lower lot. And in this video, we have a quick snapshot of the lower lot coming up right now, actually. As he's he's making a turn towards the back lot from the upper lot. And as you can see, it's kind of far away. Again, sorry about the guys, but we'll have a much closer in view um, later on in this video. Um, but the Mario Kart building sealed up as I expected it would be. And even foundation work for the, re the rest of the land is happening. And there's more found, uh, you can see more excavation for that to the left for the um, for new production building as part of the NBC Universal Evolution Plan. And there's some stuff going on Jurassic World as well. And then to the back lot, you know, just a quick update the Whoville, you see the Bates Motels to the lower left. But Whoville is um, demolished. Right there, the Universal demolished Whoville. Don't know if they're. What they're Gonna replace it with if they're gonna replace it with anything, but I thought that was definitely worth noting that that area is now gone. So when you see the studio, when you take the studio tour next time, it won't be there. Here's that great shot I was talking about, um, just a few minutes ago in the video, where now in the lower lot he really got over the lower lot, which is fantastic. You see the tram is the road, the cutting and cutting in between the open land. Jurassic World. <laughs> There's a major exca excavation and work for that production building, that big pile of dirt, and the voice soundstage is actually getting demolished as well as you see the voice uh, they used to have after and for it on the tram facing side, and that is gone. And <laughs> someone got a picture of the other side, and they're, they're ripping into that building, so that is going away. <laughs> Very interesting. We'll be able to see lots of progress on that 
um, when we get back. But Super Nintendo World to the right of the Mario Kart building, the crane is still there, but to the right of the crane, it's all sealed up except for that little spot. So, they'll, over the summer, they'll be able to work on the theming element, which is supposed to be looking like Bowser's Castle. And Princess Peach's Castle will be the foundations happening for that, and that's happening with that's what the crane's working on all right now. They you see they poured concrete for that, so they actually made a major progress on that, um, that area as well. And there's very little actual dirt left on the lot, just the entry portal in the the, the area between the two castles. It will be the two castles, it's just some dirt. But they made a major progress on Super Nintendo World, and by the time we get back to it, but um, this summer, it should be um, quite vertical, I, I assume, and even potentially some scalping should be up for the uh, Mario Kart attraction. The Donkey Kong attractions rumored to go on those two sound stages just to the north of the Mario Kart building, so we'll be watching for that over the next couple of years as well. But yeah, it's a major construction update. I'm so happy he is able to fly over and we'll get a nice view of the upper lot right now. And it's yeah, super hard to see here. I'm sorry again, but easier, a little bit easier on the video. But single life of pets is looking great. And that's what mainly why I took the screenshot. And it's a very nice view of down the Universal City and the 101 Freeway with very way in the back. See downtown LA on a beautiful, beautiful clear day in Southern California. This was taken on uh, filmed on April 17th, so about three days ago over the weekend. About three days ago, and um, or Friday, and uh, yeah, and traffic's light. We're all staying at home, and uh, the rain is really clear out the sky. So it's looking really nice. So, what do you guys think about this construction update? What do you think about Super Nintendo World? Uh, are you happy Universal is continuing its construction? And um, how big do you think that production building will be that's ripping out the voice sound, sound stage and kind of the portions of that hill over there? Um, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And comment also how much you miss Universal and what is the first ride you'll be going on when you get to go back to Universal Studios Hollywood. Also, will you go right back right away or will you be a little bit wary? Will you take a couple weeks off and see how it goes before going on the uh, to the park? Let me know your thoughts below and as always, have a fantastic day.